Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Talk of the Tiger. I'm Paul Brown. He's Jim Peterick, rock star. I'm not. That's okay. Uh, we got a lot of things to talk about this morning, sir. You've been busy. We got some really awesome shows coming up. And uh, especially the big one, because, I mean, 60, 60 years. I mean, I remember this. This is the 50th anniversary shirt. I remember that. It does not seem like 10 years ago. So, but first mm -hmm. off, let's talk about uh, you just recently got done playing a, a really cool intimate show at the, the theater that I have a concert series at, the Chicago Street Theater. That was fun. Let's talk about it. Yeah, the Chicago Street Theater is one of our favorite places. And uh, the guy that runs it, Paul Brown, he ain't bad either. Um, and it was the Jive Five, which is what we call our stripped down five member rides of March, everything but the brass. And uh, it's an intimate show. We did one long set, like a 90 minute set with pretty much all the hits, you know, and the harmonies and the stories and uh, packed house. And uh, it was just really fulfilling to play the Chicago Street Theater again. It's we've been doing it now for like 20 years and almost every year except for pandemic. So we always love coming home to the Chicago Street Theater. And we always love having you there. So, and that's actually how we met. So there's, there's a long history there. So it, cool. it is, it is indeed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, such a long friendship and yeah. professional and good friends. Absolutely. You are. So, all right. Now let's talk about the big one. I mean, coming up on March 15th is the Ides of March on the Ides of March. And this is a special one because the original Ides of March, the four of you have been together a little bit of break in there for that, that other band you were in 60 years. Yeah. But it, I, it, it, it's crazy. But even in, in my survivor days, we always got together and rehearsed because we wanted to be ready for when we got back together again. But, uh, and always hung out as, as friends, even though, even during my survivor years and uh, the original four and then 60 years. And then the newbie Scotty, Scotty May has been with us for 33 years and uh, is a member of the family, just like the brass section is now. And that's, that's the cool part about this is that you guys have been friends for 60 years and that never stopped. So even though a lot of other brand bands have changes and breakups and, and, and stuff, you guys have always been friends. I mean, since what well, you say, since Cub Scouts. And as we've mentioned before, Bob and Larry were born a couple days apart in the same hospital and their mom shared the same room in the maternity ward. So, I mean, you guys, it's, it's a lifelong thing. I mean, you are really family. Uh, really are, uh, from the womb to the tomb. Oh, I didn't say that. Anyway, it, it's all good. And we're still rocking and so having so much fun and really looking forward to March 15th, uh, at the North cultural arts center, uh, tickets, some tickets still available. They're going fast. Ron Romero of the, uh, Illinois, uh, hall of fame is bringing a busload of people in to see the show. So that, that takes care of 30 seats right there. So, um, yeah, it's going to rock. I just want to mention the 60th year thing at, at, at the Norris is with symphony. And it's a 26-piece uh, symphony. And it's a wide stage. So in, instead of putting them in the back and kind of get, getting them lost, we're sharing the stage with them. And they're on half the stage and the eyes are on the other half. So the audience is going to see the whole spectrum. And I'm really excited about it. And it's going to sound amazing. And we're going to capture it on two track. Uh, and we'll be showing snippets of the video and the audio after that. Rock and roll and, and an orchestra has always been a natural mix. Anytime bands have done that, like Deep Purple did it early on. And there's been other, I've seen Kansas with an orchestra and, and things. And it's it always adds something to hear all of that big arrangement and that sound 
behind, I mean, the eight of you guys are powerful on your own, but being surrounded by all of that really adds something to it. It's, this is going to be exciting. It really is. We uh, tested it out in the last summer outdoors with the orchestra, but you know, it was great, but a lot of sound gets lost outside and this in the confines of the Norris, it's going to be incredible. Exactly. Yeah, those those rooms are designed for that. So that's going to be wonderful. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So everybody get up there. I'm going to be there. So, uh, you know, just show up. It's going to be great. So, all right. And then you've got another cool gig coming up where our friend, the incredible Mindy Bear, has you as a guest. Yeah, the very next day uh, at the Genesee Theater, which is another great venue that we play off and we played it with the Cornerstones recently and it was just amazing, the acoustics, everything. So Mindy asked, asked me to be her special guest and, um, you know, she's going to do her, um, she's going to start out the show. I happen to have a set list here. And then uh, sh she'll do some of her, her great, great songs and then brings me on. And we do songs that we recorded and most of the time wrote together, like Train, Saul Good, A Friend Like You, Is This Love, which of course was a survivor hit, uh, and The Search Is Over, another survivor hit. And then th a thing that we wrote together called Where There's a Woman, There's a Way, which is really a, a female anthem that we wrote together. And then she takes over the stage again and I come back with Mindy and Rocket with Vehicle and Eye of the Tiger. I, it's going to be an amazing show. And yeah, Train is one of my favorites of the songs you guys have written. I mean, that that album um, was really a departure for her because she had been known for the, the smooth, or it's like she calls it stadium jazz uh, uh -huh. sound. And that one was really rocking and bluesy. And uh, that's one of my favorite songs. And then, of course, Saul Good. I'm I'm on there as as part of the Finger Snaps Choir. And that that brought the magic, Paul. It did. Yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't it wasn't sampled Finger Snaps. Those were actual organic Finger Snaps. I know, and you were in great shape for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So that's that's enough for today. Unless, do you have any special projects you're working on? Well, you know, I'm getting ready. Uh, it's in the, it's buttoned up. I just added another track to Roots and Shoots Volume Two, which releases in May, and um, really excited about that. But still promoting Roots and Shoots Volume One, which is doing great and has guests like uh, Leslie Hunt and Colin Peterick, and on and on and on. You know the the compendium of that, and that's doing really well. And I have to say, uh, Frontiers is doing an amazing job of of promoting it and getting me the right interviews. And so I'm still promoting a volume one, but in, in my heart, I'm leading to, to volume two. And I just added a, a new track on that one uh, because one of the tracks I'm not using, but I'm really excited about that too. And it's just being mastered now. So good, good things to come. And I've heard them. They are good. So. <laughs> Yep, looking forward to the second one. The first one is awesome. The second one will also be awesome. So there's a whole lot of new music for the fans coming out. So you just get ready. Exactly. Uh, I love the Mike Greeno track. I love all the tracks, but a lot of great things on, on the volume two of Roots and Shoots. Indeed. All right. So thank you again. And for those of you watching, make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the little bell thing so you get notifications when we put another one of these out, and we will keep you informed. So, all right, everyone, have a good week, and we will see you on the road. Thanks, Pablo. All right, Jim, bye. bye. Great God in heaven, you know I love you.